What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So I have some sad news to pass on to you all, and that is that legendary crooner Tony Bennett passed away this morning at the ripe old age of 96. He passed away in New York City. Bennett was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease back in 2016, but had continued to perform and record all the way through 2021. His peer Frank Sinatra once called him the greatest popular singer in the world. His recordings, most of them made for Columbia Records, which signed him in 1950, were characterized by ebullience, immense warmth, vocal clarity, and emotional openness. A gifted and technically accomplished interpreter of the Great American Songbook, he may be best known for his signature 1962 hit, I Left My Heart in San Francisco. Active as a recording artist from 1949 onward, and one of the top pop performers in the 50s and early 1960s, Bennett saw his career surge anew in the 90s and again in a new millennium under the management of his son Danny. In later years, he memorably duetted on the standard Body and Soul with the late Amy Winehouse and released a full-length uh, duet album with Diana Krall and a pair of recordings with Lady Gaga. Even, even after the revelation in early 2016 that he had been diagnosed with Alzheimer's, he remained active. His last public appearance came with Lady Gaga at Radio City Music Hall in August 2021, two months before his last, his last release, the Bennett Gaga set Love for Sale, the sequel to their chart-topping 2014 collaboration Cheek to Cheek. After gaining a young new audience with smartly booked TV appearances, his MTV Unplugged album of 1994, released when Bennett was then 67, won a Grammy as Album of the Year. A pair of duets albums in 2006 and 2011 enlisted new fans. The latter release reached the apex of the U.S. chart. And um, he was a winner of 18 Grammy Awards with 36 total nominations and a Recording Academy Lifetime Achievement Award back in 2001. Bennett also garnered two Emmy Awards. He was a Kennedy Center honoree in 2005 and a National Endowment for the Arts Jazz Master in 2006. He was born Anthony Dominic Benedetto in Astoria, Queens, New York on August 3, 1926 to Italian immigrant parents. His father was a grocer his mother a seamstress. Raised in poverty, he began singing as a child and studied music and his other lifelong love painting at New York's High School of Industrial Art. His vocal influences included Bing Crosby, Al Jolson, and later Frank Sinatra, as well as such female singers as Billie Holiday and Judy Garland. He was drafted at age 18 in 1944. He served in World War II's European theater doing combat infantry duty and liberating a German concentration camp. After the end of the conflict, he sang as a member of an armed forces band. And from there on were the steps to a remarkable uh, career of longevity, which started in 1949 and encompassed the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2010s, and into the 2020s. And, um, I mean, we knew this was coming. I know a lot of you guys don't even know who Tony Bennett is. I understand there's a generational gap with some of the people subscribed to me, but, um, I, I, I was, I liked a lot of his songs, you know. Um, I obviously only really re remember him for the Renaissance. And then I did a little bit of my own, my own research and homework. But I remember him for his career renaissance in the 1990s. I remember him appearing on MTV. And I remember it looking kind of weird seeing him standing there with people like Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. But he was honored to be uh, loved and still relevant at that later stage of his life and actually gaining new fans from people who were not even thought of when he started his career. 
So that had to be extremely satisfying for him. And uh, I'm glad that he was able to persevere despite the Alzheimer's diagnosis for so long. You know, I'm pretty sure that added years to his life, uh, still going, even after that diagnosis. Because I'm pretty sure if he had just quit, he would have been gone a long time ago. But so, rest in peace, Tony Bennett. Tell me what you guys think.